What's up guys? Hiding. I hope you're great. My name is Jesse and welcome to yet another amazing story here today. Today I'm going to show you how you can calculate Landsat 8 top of atmosphere reflectance or top of atmosphere radiance in quantum JS. Let us dive into the tutorial. So, the first thing that you have to do is to download your Landsat 8 data. So this is a Landsat 8 compressed file. So the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'll come to plugin, manager and install plugins, and then make sure you have this plugin installed, RS and GIS. If you don't have it, install it. Then after installing it, this is its icon. So. What you have to do is you have you just have to come and click on this one on this plugin and then this plugin can actually be used to compute a number of what of outputs uh, so as you see you select the raw data input so i'll use a compressed file so i'll browse to where my what my file is so as you see this is my what my image data so i will select it and then i say open so if I have an area of interest, maybe a district, maybe a province, I can use this option to select the what? The shape file. But for today, I will not. So uh, here I can ignore no data values. So for Landsat 8, I can exclude clouds and then also these Cyrus what? Clouds. So the outputs, remember, I'm interested in the top of atmosphere what? reflectance and then as well as the top of atmosphere what radiance so i'll select the toa for the deep blue band the blue green for okay and also for the what for the near infrared so if you need all these products you can just go on and what and tick them but for me i'll only select a few actually i don't need for deep blue let me untick it and then yeah, I go on. So if you need other products such as uh, NDVI, NDWI, land search temperature, you can go on to do what? To select these what? These outputs. So after that, you just have to click start processing. As soon as you press that option, a new file will be created as you see here. And then that's where all the outputs are going to be what? To be put. So to monitor the progress, you just have to keep your eyes on what? On this command window. So after some time, as you see, you can see here process completed. And then you can see here ready to go again. That means the algorithm has been able to run and then finish what? Your outputs. So I will close it and then... I'll open this file and then I'll go to the outputs. Then inside there, I have a number of what? Of outputs. So let me just open a few of them and then you can see. So I come to layer, add layer, add raster layer. So, as you see here, I've just selected the near infrared. I've been able to compute the reflectance. As you see, this is the reflectance and it ranges from 0 0.03 to 0 0.33. This is the top of atmosphere, what? Reflectance. And then I've also been able to compute the radiance. The radiance ranges from 8.5 to 89.3, as you see here. So... Let me just try to give this radiance a nicer color properties and then symbology. Let me try to do this here. Yeah. So guys, that's how you can compute the top of atmosphere reflectance and then the radiance easily using quantum GIS. Thank you for watching this video. 